What's poppin' gang? For a while now, if you've been watching my videos, you've been listening to this exact vocal chain. The Norman U87 into the Knee 1073 into the Successor Compressor by Heritage Audio. And today, I'm gonna go over some settings that I would recommend for some vocal recording scenarios. What's poppin' gang? I'm 30 Killer Beats, and today, I'm just gonna go over my favorite vocal chain as of right now, which is the Knee 1073 and Successor Compressor paired with the Neumann U87. And you probably seen another video where I did where I paired this with the Knee 1073 and the Stressor Compressor. That was a great vocal chain and I liked it a lot, but I wanted to try something else. Lately, I've been trying out the Successor Compressor combo with this Neumann U87. Honestly, I think this is a really great combination that might be slept on. Before we jump into the settings, I gotta give a shout out to our sponsor for today, TheMusicGame.com. Are you struggling dealing with your time with music production? I know it can be exhausting, which is why I created this perfect solution for you. Our industry quality Pro Tools template will help you craft your professional quality mixes a whole lot faster, helping you focus more on the music. Or if you're looking for musical loops to help you get from A to B in a short amount of time, definitely check out TheMusicGame.com, link in the description. Also, shout out to Zounds for sending this U87 and Successor Compressor. They have so many great options on their website if you're looking to upgrade your studio, definitely check them out. They have a lot of great options to help you get that gear you really want a whole lot sooner. All right, gang, so I've been using this combination for a little while now, and honestly, I really love it a lot. And I'm going to jump into exactly how, I, how I've been using it. First off, notice as you can see, I have my gain right now at 50. And right now, the only reason I have it at 50 is because of how far my microphone is for me. Normally, I would leave it at like 30, 35. But now, honestly, with the successor compressor that I have paired with the Knee 1073, I've been able to boost my gains a whole lot more and still get cleaner sound while getting more harmonic distortion. Almost kind of like driving up the drive knob on a console. So honestly, I think it sounds really, really great. Next, let's jump into the EQ. Now, personally, I think that this EQ is really personally for like shaping the sound. Get a whole lot cleaner sound before you even start mixing and adding EQ and stuff like that. Compared with this compressor, you can almost do some really unique things. So right now, I have the highs up. In a recording scenario, I'll probably have it around the same point as well. You know, just to get some more, you know, detail in the vocal. You know, especially um, majority of the time, I'm recording rap vocals. So next, right now, I have the uh, boosted at 7k on the mids just a little bit and I think that sounds really great right now sometimes what I do is I just turn off the mids as well and don't uh, boost it at all either way it sounds great just try it out for you now for the lows i have it turned down a little bit on around 220 hertz uh, for recording scenario that's probably what i would do to bring the the mids down a little bit more so i can get a full flatter sound uh, it'll be even better for mixing and mastering when i do that in a recording scenario i'll probably turn the high bend pass off we're doing a voiceover i'll probably just keep it on i think it sounds great when i'm doing a voiceover quicker way just to clean up the audio why not and now you know for the level i just got it turned all the way up because i'm using this compressor and why not you know what i'm saying it's going to basically control my highs and my peaks and stuff like that this successor compressor can really handle it now let's jump over to the compressor now this compressor is a dial bridge compressor which is basically kind of emulating like a neve compressor but it's not exactly emulating other compressors or anything like that dial bridge compressors were very popular in the 1960s and 70s when neve came out with those and this whole setup is kind of like a english british sounding channel right now this compressor also comes with uh transformers on the ends and outputs as well also just helping you get a nice really big sound i really love the way how this compressor sounds i just found out if you want this exact same setup in a smaller form factor heritage audio has another unit called the brit strip which is basically a knee 1073 and successor compressor built in together so that's pretty cool that they probably understand that this is a really good setup as well i just figured this out myself that this is a really nice pair and let me know in the comments maybe if you want me to do a video comparing the successor and the distressor against each other 
First, let's start off with this sidechain feature right here. Basically, what this sidechain feature does is basically focus on whatever frequency you want it to focus on, but also tells you exactly what it's doing with these little curves here as well. It'll focus on different frequencies when it's compressing the sound. Right now, you can tell I'm on the 3K range where it's basically focusing on the 3K. Uh, as you can see, I have the threshold up, so it's basically compressing my vocals right now and also kind of de -sing it a little bit. And the way how I'm using this Accessor compressor is basically like a de right now and that's weird that that all rhymes I don't know why that rhymes we got distressor we got successor and I'm using this as a de so I don't, <laughs> I don't know why all that rhymes but lately as well what I like to do turn it up to the 5k and now what I have is more of a de -er right now so now every time I do my s's and say sweet and sour sauce you can hear it started to de it that's pretty great too as well especially for vocals if you're recording a lot of vocals and you're noticing some of that some of the vocals are coming in really harsh you probably want to start de-essing them now what i can start doing as well is probably start using this as a de and then running this into the distressor and start using that as a compressor and that rhymes again i don't know why bro <laughs> everything just keeps rhyming but you could also change the settings here and you know maybe get less de you know get more de and turn it up even more i, I really like using this for a de and a compressor but lately i've been uh more so using it as on the fork on the 3k range sometimes I, I like using it on the uh, 80k range right here where it's focusing on 80 and up you can get more full tones using this for your vocals for, even for voiceovers or for rappers this has a really great fast attack you know some compressors don't have fast attacks like this one where it goes about 50 milliseconds which is extremely extremely fast almost lightning fast so this is a really great compressor as well so you know you can basically even use this as for mastering as well I like using Using this for mastering as well even just vocals i basically use this compressor for basically for anything let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a dedicated video just on this compressor alone because it's a beast honestly <laughs> now i have it as a de so i'm going to turn on and off right now it's off so sweet and sour sauce how does it sound sweet and sour sauce how does it sound now that i have it on and as you can see it sounds so much better like the Esser gives you a cleaner and a whole much cleaner sound, especially when we boost in the highs. You can really shape the sound and uh, use this pair in a really unique way that you normally don't use with hardware. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. How, does, how do you think it sounds for vocals? Let me know what other videos you guys want to see on this channel. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, add me on Instagram, threads, Twitter, or X, whatever you guys want to call it. You guys stay safe. Peace.